Hello everyone, welcome to a sequel to the Gerard Richter series, uh, a tribute to his work and his style. Now this is the last of the uh, prints that I had pulled and I had mentioned earlier that I may want to add something else and I did take a good long look at it and this seems kind of empty to me and it needs some some kind of structure or some action so what I had done is well first of all I had started assigning some colors to go over this I'm going to use cadmium red light for this section and then some of this gold to be in the center section here some arctic by lucas here and finally some turquoise on this side so i had to map this out carefully because it's the last layer and I always have to remember this is all done backwards so this is going to be reversed in order so on the plate this is going to be on this side and then this is going to be on that side it's a little confusing now because uh, this is going to go like that. Okay. So, so not to be confusing, I will put these where they're supposed to go. There. So this is how I map out my colors. I have to look at the print and always keep in mind that what I'm seeing right side up, on the plate it's backwards. So let me get going and start inking the plate. So I will start, actually I will start with the center because I know there's not much left in here. So I've been using it so much. In fact, I may have to cut this open. Maybe not. It's a little goes a long way. One of my favorite colors, this is gold by Blick. And then cadmium red on this side. Now one viewer had suggested that I use a stencil brush to cut around but in this case there's very little um, advantage to doing that I'm just going to stick to the way I do it sometimes certain things seem to make sense but when you start actually doing them, it doesn't work. Okay. So, I will start, I will start with this, the center portion. Thank you. 
I'm going to switch brayers to do the red. Usually the final pass is where everything gets blended and flattened down. Okay. This has served me so well. This is really a kitty litter pan. Now this technique of using several colors at the same time in silkscreen language it's called a split fountain. It's where you use several colors in one pass. That's to save um, save time and energy instead of using each color for each pass. So I just thought I'd let you know that. Because I used to do a lot of silk screen. Okay, now there are some smears here, which I'm going to clean up. In this case, I'm using a dry rag rather than a wet one. Okay. I think that will work. Everything seems to be in order. So here is the print that I was not satisfied with, as usual. So let's see what happens now. Now, I don't know if you can see this on camera. I had left this print on my plate by mistake. 
and left it there overnight because I was so tired and it had a lot of oil stains that came out of the plate and I was very disappointed with myself but I'm, I'm confident that these oil stains will evaporate eventually uh, because uh, baby oil does e evaporate contrary to the belief that once you get an oil stain on paper it's permanent it's a clear liquid and it does evaporate in time so I'm not going to worry too much but that teaches me a lesson not to leave my prints laying on top of the plate for an extended time because the oil from the plate will leach out okay let me just tidy up here one of the hardest parts of this process is keeping the table orderly okay let's see what we have here I like that so much better now the print has some kind of structure don't you think So I will air dry this and then recap. I might be able to salvage this ghost print as well. Now this acrylic needs to be shaken ever so often because the extender tends to separate. Okay. Um, Thank you. 
Now since I'm trying to capture a ghost print, I will leave this for about 5 to 10 minutes. So in the meantime, I will soak my brayers in this container. I'll be right back. Okay, it's been about five minutes. I think it's a good transfer. It's picking up most of most of the ghost print. And so far, no tears, which is good. I think it's a lovely texture. It's just too bad the gold does not show up too much. Kind of gets washed out. Okay. Very cool. I like that. So I will air dry this and the other one and do a recap. So don't go away. Okay, back from a short break. And as usual, I cannot leave well enough alone, so I went through my box of scraps, and I think these guys will work here. And this, this is a copper-colored tissue paper, which I think is very attractive. I think that will work there. And this is a warm-up exercise. Actually, I'm going to clean this up. Clean up the ragged edges. Put that here. It's just another form of mark making. And here's another warm-up exercise on copper tissue. Right there.
Okay. So I think by adding this collage, it transforms this piece to a mixed media. Okay. I think I'm more uh, satisfied now. So I will let this dry and then recap. I think the first one is already dry. Okay, here is the final leg of this journey. So here is the first print. And I had applied a layer of vermilion, gold, arctic, and turquoise. And here's a close-up. And I think the... Uh, Stencils give a lot of definition. So that's the first print. Now here is the ghost print with collage. I think the collage elements give a little interest and contrast. See, as, as you can see here, the edge of the plate is not straight because the the gel plate is not plumb. Okay, now I don't know if I can fit this in the camera frame, but I want to show you both prints side by side.
so my table is not big enough. But you can see the parallel, the parallel images. This is the original and this is the ghost. See this? Anyway, thank you so much for coming along for the ride. I really had a lot of fun adding on to these prints and making them my own. So what I did is start out as a tribute to Gerard Richter using his technique of blending with a, uh, a spatula. But I overlay my own interpretation and this is what I get. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.